Hello all and welcome back to another video and in this video we are talking about Bulstrode, three sections in this video. His history, my thoughts on him, and why is he like super prevalent? Why him? So let's get started with the history. Bulstrode was first introduced in the book Toby Trucks and Trouble in 1988 and was the third story, literally called Bulstrode. In this story, he gets sunk by Percy because of Percy dropping trucks on him. Bulstrode heard a rattle and a shout or two, but he could see nothing. The first he knew if anything was wrong was when four loaded stone trucks shot one by one off the end of the key to bury themselves in his hold. Oof! he exclaimed, but anything else was lost in a gurgle. Now he just sits on the beach in sadness. A really basic but funny and fun character. Like, Christopher introduces a brand new bow character, which we haven't seen that much of, and then gets beached on purpose. We never see him again in the RWS series. Then, in 1984, Thomas transitioned over to TV, but we never saw Bullshold until the fourth series, in 1995. In this episode, which is called Special Attraction, before I get into this episode, this episode's decent. Like, it has two stories combined into one, they're both good ones, but then they're just loosely tied together with a very poor line of dialogue. Well, we've both had some seaside surprises today, laughed Toby. But Driver says that I'm a special attraction anyway, and so are you. But sorry about that little rant. So he appears in the last half of the episode. His driver warns Percy about Bullstrode and how difficult he is. And when they get there, he causes trouble by being very difficult, of course. And then Percy basically loses control of the trucks and somehow pushes them off the dock. We get this spectacular crash. And off the end of the key to bury themselves in his hold. Oof! He exclaimed. Then he starts to sink and then he gets moved to the beach. Same as the original story, but the TV adaptation is worse, besides the visuals. And after that, he never really appears again, besides some background appearances in season 5 with no face, and in Oliver's Fine and something in the air, we see Bullshold's backlights. Then Bullshold's model was actually starting to deteriorate and was damaged from the move to Toronto for Magic Railroad. But for the sixth series, they rebuilt his model and used it in the background like once or twice in season 6 and 7, and you can only see in like promotional images really. But his shocked face was actually used on a truck in season 8 and season 10. But that's it for the TV series. And even when they transitioned to CGI, he still never returned. And now his model resigns at Drain Manor. But out of all things, in 2021 or 22, I can't remember, Bullstrode returned in All Engines Go, which we don't talk about on this channel, okay? Now that's it for the history. Now I have thoughts on this character. Bullstrode is a very simple character. But we all know that he's a grumpy boat. And that's it there. He's such a charming, classic character and is very fun. And I do like how the trucks don't don't even like him either. So it shows how much of a nuisance he is. Fun, but not that much of a character there. Again, they could have explored his character later, but that's that's the problem with the later series, not his main introduction. But I just love this grumpy boat. Not the main reason I made this video. Why is he so prevalent? So many people know Bolstrode, but why is that? If he was never in the series since the fourth series, it's because of the merchandise. This was the reason why this boat was so prevalent. He has an Erdl model, a capsule playroom model, a take and play, one railway, and a CGI version, which all the CGI versions of Bolstrode suck, and many Trackmaster ones. And the most recent Trackmaster variant of Bolstrode I have, it just sucks. And I have a Tomy version too, and it is amazing. Look at these guys, like playing cards, a book, which I have, and a bunch of other toys like Neka Yoshi, Bandai Tex, Golden Bear, and he even has a bath toy, which again, I have. And for some reason, his actual like main body is red. Don't know why. And he got his own ride at Thomas Land. So why am I talking about all this merch? Well, there's no concrete reason, but I have a few theories about this. First theory, he sold well. Even if they kept on making toys for him, that means he does well but he was only exclusive to the Brendam dock set, so I don't know. But maybe the Brendam dock set sell well because Bullshold is with it. They're like, oh, it's an exclusive character. Maybe that's why he, he sold so well and kept on making more and more merch of him and seen in promotional images. Second theory, something to associate with the docks. When there's a Brendam dock set, there's a Cranky and maybe an Assaulty because they work there and then they will remember them. And maybe you remember him because you know, oh, that's the boat that works at the docks. He's there, so you can associate him with that location, so you remember him. And my final reason, 
is that he is one of the only boats and that's why they used him a lot for merch to you know represent the sea if that makes sense because you didn't see any really any boats and he's the only one with the face so might as well you know take advantage of that but that's my only reasons but if he did so well with the toys why didn't hit entertainment capitalize on it on bolstro give him an episode or even just like one line as an episode so you remember him and that might make even more toys sell i don't know why hit did not take advantage of this it's so dumb why they didn't capitalize on this because they would have gotten a lot of money back and made the, the fans happy honestly so that was Bullshit, guys. A very odd but fun character, which has a whole history just for having basically one appearance ever in the TV show. And he's just such an interesting character, at least for me. And after seeing other people do this with characters, I'm going to make a Bullshit collection of just Bullshit merch. And I already have a few stuff. And I'll keep you guys updated on the collection in the community tab. And if you guys want to sell me any of your Bullshit merch, go into the comments of this video or any or my community tab whenever I give an update, go to me on Twitter. Depends on the price, I'll probably buy it. And I hope you guys like this little character analysis video on Bolstrode. And thanks for watching, and see you guys in another video. See ya!